starting to look cold out there. Good thing there's no heat in the shop so I can make this video for you guys. All right, so I'm gonna continue building on this uh, belt sander. And um, so what I gotta do is, in order to make it safe, I have to drill out the base plate on the belt sander to this bolt pattern so I can bolt it on here. And I'm also planning on being able to hopefully mount in my uh, the mount for the motor. So that's the plan for today anyways on this build. that those are lined up planar to each other so it's probably not going to be straight up mount like this where I'm just going to get this to I'm probably going to have a little arm that moves this mounting plate further back because uh, that's what it's going to take, probably. I mean, even though I've already got this piece cut out, what I really ought to do, just to give myself every chance in the world of doing this right, is recut this out and make these holes slotted so that I can adjust it exactly where it needs to be. And then, <laughs> more just like by for eyeball reasons, I think what I can do is I can hold this. Oh my. Gosh, I should put that plate on there. That's pretty close where it's at. But anyways, you know, I'm going, to, I'm going to recut that, but I don't think that I'm going to have to make the plate any wider. I just have to slot those holes.
now that we've got the motor mounted to this plate to that weld on hinge and uh, motor turns pulley to this pulley down the drive shaft to your drive uh, I guess that's your drive wheel belt fanning belt goes up to your tracking and tension wheel and then to whatever tool or implement you have on the end so it's uh that's the theory. <laughs>